Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I did a Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial. I asked you guys on Twitter through the Twitter polls, which I'm having so much fun with right now, what you guys wanted to see and everyone said a soft and girly Valentine's Day makeup tutorial using the Naked 3 palette. And I wanted to do sort of like a glittery glam kind of look too, but all of you guys wanted a soft and a girly look. So I kind of like combined the two, even though everyone wanted a soft and girly look. I kind of combined the two and did a glam, soft, girly look. So this is what I came up with today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I also tried to use the Naked 3 palette as much as possible, but I also used a lot of this little CoverGirl quad. Just because I know a bunch of people have the Naked 3 and also this CoverGirl quad is only a few bucks. So you can run out and grab it and it's also really cute for just an everyday sort of look. Really quickly before I begin the tutorial, I do just want to say that if you guys don't have the Naked 3, that there is a dupe of the Naked 3 and that is the Coastal Sense Revealed palette. So this is what this one looks like. This one has 20 shades and it's pretty much identical to the Naked 3. And then you also have like extra shades too, like you have a really pretty cranberry color in there. So they're really, really similar and if this is too expensive for you, check out this palette. It's pretty much the exact same pigmentation wise, color wise, and it's a little bit cheaper for a few more shadows as well if you guys are interested in that at all. This isn't sponsored. I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you didn't have the Naked 3 palette. But I really hope you guys all enjoy this tutorial and if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. Do I have an eyelash on me that entire time? I'm so sorry. This is what I actually look like right now. Sorry about that. My eyelids are primed and my eyebrows are done, but I'm going to begin with obviously using the Naked 3 palette. And I'm going to take this shade Liar, which is a light blushing nude, and I'm just throwing this in my crease. I have to apologize. I don't know why this video is so bright. Um, I thought I had the ISO on auto and I thought it looked good while filming, but while editing I see that it's really, really bright and I don't have time to refilm this tutorial, so I am sorry. Anyway, I'm just throwing that in the crease and then I'm taking this CoverGirl quad in the shade Blooming Blushes and I'm taking that light pink and I'm just putting that right over top of the transition shade that we put in the crease just to diffuse it even more. I'm then taking this shade which is called number three and I love this shade it's like a shimmery plum color and I'm applying this to the inner corner and the outer corner of my lid and also dragging it up into the crease to create that kind of halo eye effect this is beautiful and it looks super effortless on the eyes and this eyeshadow technique actually only takes a few minutes but it looks like you put so much time and effort into it when in reality it only took a few seconds now I'm going to go in with this MAC pigment in the shade Lavender and I'm also going to wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus to make this more vibrant and intense and metallic and I'm applying this on the spot that we left bare in the center of the lid. I think this really adds a beautiful look to the eye and it just makes it pop a lot more. This look became a lot more purpley than I wanted it to so here I went in with the Makeup Forever Star Powder in number I don't know these like don't really have good numbers but I'm just putting that right in the center over top of the lavender blending that all together and then just highlighting the brow bone with a matte br bone shade color yeah blending that all out you get the gist now I'm going to go in and wing my eyeliner this is the NYX liquid matte eyeliner in black. You can totally skip liner and make it a lot softer of a look. I just love a good winged liner. I also always like to go in and clean up my eyeliner. I think that it just makes it look a lot better and even if I sometimes make the line go out too far, I can kind of shape it how I want. I can make it go more up or I can make it go more out so I don't really ever skip out on defining my liner. So after that's done, I like to move on to the lashes. And as you can see, I have lash extensions, but honestly, putting on fake eyelashes makes a huge difference. These are the Blinking Beauty number no. 7s, and these are expensive lashes, but I think that they are definitely worth the investment. So after I apply on those lashes, I just go in and fill in the gap between my inner tear duct and the lashes. Let me just touch really quickly on why it's good to invest in good lashes. They last longer, they look better, they're very durable, and they're super, super, super easy to apply. Um, 
a little lash extension tip if you guys have lash extensions you shouldn't really put mascara on them but as they start like start to fade when you need a fill um, they tend to get kind of gray and lose their blackness so I always like to put a little bit of shadow on them black shadow and it just amplifies the blackness again without having to put mascara on and potentially rip off lashes or ruin lashes then I just wanted to add a little bit of glitter so this is the NYX oh god crystal hip liquid crystal liner loving it just put it right where I put the pigment now ever since I hauled the Smashbox primer water you guys have been wanting to see it like no other so I put one drop of that on and then whatever foundation I'm using today it's the Clinique even better foundation I mix that together on the back of my hand and I just dot this all over my face honestly guys my first impression of this primer is that I really won't be using it a lot because it gives me too much of a dewy finish and I love a matte finish. So if you're a dewy finish kind of person, this is the primer for you. It'll be amazing. The only thing is it says that it's a lightweight primer, but I find that it makes my foundation very thick. And if you think about it, it would make sense because you're putting an oil in with your foundation. Oily skin people would hate this. I think dry skin people would absolutely love it. Normal skin people like me, I think you can work with it, but it's a it's a personal preference thing. So after you have on your foundation, I like to go in and conceal and highlight. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm highlighting up the sides of my nose because I find that really helps to actually slim down my nose. I'm also highlighting in between my forehead and then down the very center of my nose. And then the little jetway pathway place that I made those two stripes down my nose is where I'll go in and contour. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick and I've been loving this for contour lately. It just looks natural and it also warms up my face at the same time. So as you can see here, I'm going in and I'm defining those little paths that I made. And then because it's really the tip of my nose that I don't like and I want to sculpt that down if my camera would focus you could see that I really just shaded that with the contour stick and that really makes a world of difference when it comes to contouring my nose it slims it down a lot and also if you guys don't like the sides of your nose you can um, contour right around where your nostrils meet your face if you contour right there it's going to shrink your nose and make it look more narrow on the bottom as opposed to just the bridge so that's just a little tip if you guys want me to do a whole video on nose contouring i can it's just so hard to because everyone nose is different i blend that all in and then i set it with powder this is the clinique oh gosh what's it called the almost powder makeup i love this this is in number one fair and i will put this wherever I highlight it. So under my eyes, on my nose, forehead, underneath my contour and chin. You know, I just, I really like this powder. It's super lightweight and it just smooths out my skin flawlessly. And then after that is done, I like to go in and just warm up my complexion furthermore. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Everyone and their mother has this. It's a great product. If you don't have it, I'd recommend to do a quick little splurge on it. It's a really great product. Um, and it just warms up my face. Now we're gonna go in and do the lower lash line and it's not hard at all, we're just mimicking the lid. So I'm gonna take that purpley metallic shade from the CoverGirl palette and put that on the outer corner of my eye as well as the inner corner of my eye, avoiding the inner tear duct because we're gonna put a lighter shade there. And then I'm just going in with that lavender pigment from MAC and putting that right on the center. I did not wet my brush for this, but you totally can if you want to. Now because I like to have a bright inner corner, I'm just going back in with that Makeup Forever pigment. The only number on here that it says is 90947. So look for that in the store if you're interested. It's the pinky one. Now I'm gonna go in and line my waterline. I feel like I'm rushing through this tutorial. I'm really sorry, I just, I, I don't know. I guess I just don't leave myself enough time to edit. Anyway, this is a white eyeliner. Putting it on my waterline, you can use purple, black, pink, brown, mauve, whatever shade you want to put on that waterline, you do it, girl. I'm also going to throw a little bit of lower lash mascara on my bottom lashes, and then my eyes are finished. I just love the look of this eye makeup. I'm loving it. 
I'm going in with this Clinique. I'm using a lot of Clinique, but if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know I've been loving Clinique lately. This is the Clinique Sculptionary Cheek Contouring Palette in the shade 06 Defining Pinks. And I'm taking the lighter shade and I'm putting that on the high points of my face, like my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and where I want my nose highlight to be accentuated. And then I'm just going to take the remaining colors in that palette and put this on my cheeks. I really been liking this cheek color. I think it gives my cheeks a very healthy glow and a very healthy look. And it just brightens up my day, especially for school. I'll just throw this on and it just makes me look very alive and very awake. And I think it's just super girly and cute for Valentine's Day. Also, I apologize for the shitty looking background. It looks better on camera, but it doesn't look good when I'm now editing it. I'm sorry, I'll need to fix that. Now I'm going to go in with the lips. This is the Vanilla Macaroon by um, Velvet59. This is like my go-to base whenever I want to have a good nude lip combo. This is always the base that I go to. It just perfectly mutes out my lips. Then this is the NYX lip liner. Forgot the shade. I'm going to have it linked below. But this is just to make it a bit more pinky and not so washed out like I just have concealer lips. So I'm lining my lips to make them more full and also a little bit bigger. And then I'm just filling them in to eliminate the concealer look and make it more pink as I said. Then this is the Tom Ford lipstick. I know it's a lot of lip products. This is the Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Blushing Nude. I believe it's number 13. You can use Cream Cut by MAC. I just had this right next to me on the counter, so I picked it up and it was the perfect shade. I loved it. But since I'm a gloss girl, I added a little bit of the CoverGirl Queen Collection gloss. And I love this one. I don't think you guys can grab it anymore, but I'll put a dupe to it down below. So this is the look. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I love you all. Bye.